Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Shema Monet. And in today's video, I'm a little late, but that's all right. Finally got my hands on a couple of the Juvia's Place foundation sticks and I wanna test them out on camera for you guys. So I got the shade Benin and Katsina. I haven't swatched them or anything, so I'm hoping that this will be my foundation match with Benin. I plan on using Katsina to contour and I already have the Juvia's Place concealer number 12 um, which I've been loving since that was released. So, um, let's get into these bad boys. They are the multi-purpose foundation sticks called the Shade Sticks, again by Juvia's Place. It says they can be used to contour, conceal, and correct. Formulated to feel like skin, our Shade Stick is a weightless multi-purpose form that glides on seamlessly to cover imperfections while giving full definition to face. This full coverage formula is infused with shea butter and oil controlling ingredients to aid in a long wear time while providing radiance to skin. So this claims to be full coverage, weightless. So let's see. Now I do have, I don't have it in front of me, but I do have their original um, liquid formula foundation. Now that, that's paint. That's straight up full coverage spackle. Like you... When Juvia's Place came out with their first foundation, I did grab it and I got it in the shade 150 Cano. This foundation right here is full coverage. Like when they said full coverage, they mean full coverage. Like I honestly don't even reach for this as much because I'm more of a like light to medium coverage type of girl. And this is straight full on glam. So I have worn this a few times where I know like I need to be beat for photo shoots, things of that nature. I do use this, but I'm really interested to see if this is going to give me of more like a everyday wear for me that i like so let's get into these so we're gonna grab benin and katsina so again katsina i plan on using for my contour shade oh yeah that looks pretty this is how much product you get. I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand. That looks pretty. Now they have shades darker than this, but I didn't wanna go too, 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 too dark. All right, this is Benin. Let's see what we are working with. Alrighty, so let's just jump into it. I already moisturized my face with my ponds. Put on my NYX Born and Glow Illuminator and my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So that's already done. We're just going to jump into this. This might be too light. It feels super creamy. Might be too light. I don't know. We're about to find out. I'm going to take my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. and get to work in this in. I can tell you one thing, it feels incredibly soft. It really doesn't feel like I'm blending much of anything in. Super soft. Now, as you can see, I have some blemishes that are still showing through. Put a little bit more right there, it covered it up. Again, I don't mind if my natural imperfections show through. I really don't, but this is looking pretty good. So this half of my face has foundation on. This half of my face does not. Definitely not as full coverage as this, their first foundation. It's not like this, but I like that. I like that it's not as thick and matte. I feel like my skin is still showing through and it's still breathable. And it blended out flawlessly, effortlessly. All right, let's do this other side. Oh, did I mention this is my first time trying to stick foundation? 
I haven't done stick foundations. I didn't do Anastasia when she came out with them. I don't have any makeup revolution stick foundations. I also have dry skin if you're not familiar with my channel. So this feels amazing. It feels creamy. It feels like it's like a moisturizer, honestly. <laughs> doesn't feel loose but if it just it feels like it's giving me hydration definitely not matte at all <laughs> that blended out so 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 nicely hmm all right Julius please so far so Good. I'm definitely loving this finish. Let me blend this that I put on my nose. I'm loving this finish. I'm not mad at this shade. <clears throat> I'm not mad at this shade at all. Again, this is what looks like swatched on my hand. This is the contour. So, yes, for Benin. I actually shade matched one of my, off of one of my girls that I know who's a makeup artist, I'll tag her channel down below. Natoy, I know we wear similar foundation shades and she had been ranting and raving about how much she loved these foundation sticks. And she's the shade Benin. So I was like, all right, that's her shade. It should work for me as well. Because I did go to Ulta when these first, first, first came out and was swatching a whole bunch of shades. Um, What did I do with my concealer? Oh, swatching a whole bunch of shades. And then I was like, I'ma just wait. I was just waiting, waiting. So they recently had a sale where these foundations were eight bucks and they had a 20% off cold. So I was like, let me grab these now. This is a great sale price. So let me grab these right now so I could give them a go. So this is number 12. Lately, I normally mix number 12 with my, um. What is it? My e.l.f. 16 hour concealer. But I won't mix it today. Just so I can see. Yeah, this feels so good. Like when it glides on, it just feels so creamy. So creamy. All right, I don't want to get crazy with the nose. So um, I'm going to take this e.l.f. contour brush to apply it to my nose. Ooh, that looks good. If you're familiar with my channel, then you know as of late for my nose, I've been using the e.l.f. 16 hour concealer in the shade Rich Ebony because it's been like the perfect shade, not too dark. This looks really good. I'm excited. Because when I say I really wanted to like these, I really wanted to like these. So far, the blendability is ridiculous. How easy this is blending out. Cause sometimes with like stick foundations, I hear that like you gotta spray them. They're they're stiff. They're dry. This I didn't spray my brush. I didn't even spray any setting spray. Um, I'll do it at the end. Typically, I spray it to blend it in. But I just wanted to get a true feel for what this was gonna do. That blended out so nice. I'm gonna take the same foundation brush to blend out this jawline. Do y'all see how that's just disappearing? That's crazy. But I love, like, I love a seamless foundation blend. So the fact that they say these can be used, you know, for foundation, contour. Did y'all, did y'all? I know y'all saw how that just blended out crazy literally crazy i like this shade i'm not mad i can go darker i could go darker pardon me i could definitely go a little bit darker but this is really really nice for just an everyday contour so i'm i am glad i got this shade because i can always use a powder to deepen that up too 
Do you see how this is blending? Like, I'm not pushing down hard at all. Ooh. This is noise. Come on, Juvia's place. Now, I have all of this on, so I really don't have to go heavy with the contour up here, but I can already see how nice that is. Like, that's super nice. That's nice. Yes, and this high this hydration, this concealer is super hydrating as well and creamy, so I like to let it sit so it can start to dry. So it's been drying while I've been blending out that shade. I just wanna even see if I layer it a little bit more. That is so nice, oh my goodness. That blend out? Crazy. All right. I'm going to take my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and work on this here concealer. That's had some time to just really sit. Again, this is the Juvia's Place Concealer, number 12. Y'all see how snatched that nose looks? Yes. <laughs> I'm a really, really really enjoying this process of blending and just y'all Julius place did they thing I'm using the bottom half that doesn't have concealer on it, but just to kind of sharpen up that contour. Oops. Whew. Almost lost it. And that's the worst too. Cause then you gotta go, go get a whole new one. Okay, so this is my face before I put any powder on. I do not set my entire face. I I just don't. I haven't done it in so long. Again, my skin, I kind of go with my skin. My skin has been super dry as of late. I haven't needed to set my face, but I do set my highlighted area. So I'm just trying to smooth that out as much as possible. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty powder and honey to set where I concealed. And I'm gonna use my Black Radiance powders, contour palettes to um, set this contour area. Gonna pop just a tiny bit under here. Chisel out these cheeks. I just keep shaking my head because I'm really like, I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. My skin looks like skin. Feels like I don't have nothing on. They don't smell like anything. They literally are weightless. Does Do they say they're weightless? Yes, they said it's a weightless multi-purpose formula. It's weightless. That's not a lie. They told no lie. It's weightless. It's ridiculous. Medium to dark palette. I'm going to take these middle two shades that are clearly almost out. <laughs> 
to go over that contour area. But yeah, I'm just super impressed with how easy that was to blend out. That was seamless. Like I could clearly see how quick I could really blend this out if I wasn't like filming or just like really trying to assess just on the go. I'm in the darkest palette now, deep to dark using that middle sculpt shade. Matter of fact, just to even, just to bump it up a notch, I'm gonna take this dark contour shade just a tiny bit and keep it right there. All right. Blend that out. All right, y'all, this face is almost done. I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place Blush from the Saharan Blush Palette, Volume One. I'm gonna go in with this orange shade, Toby. All right, all right. And since we're doing Julia's Place, I'm gonna actually use this blush palette for highlight. I'm gonna go in with Lila and I'm gonna take this. Oh, actually first, before I do the highlighter, let me just set my face really quick. Let me just blend everything together. Very lately, because honestly, this blend is crazy already. Like, it's so seamless. Whew. I'm going to use the Black Radiant Setting Spray, Long Lasting Setting Spray, to set my face. All right, I'm gonna take this fan brush and go into Lila. Nice little golden glow. And last but not least for the lips, I'm going to line my lips with gumbo from the crayon case. And then I am going to take the Juvia's Place Collab Gloss and Royalty, which is our super cute nude. To finish off this Juvia's face. Y'all, if you have these foundation sticks, definitely leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about them, how you like them, are they your go-to? Any makeup artists, let me know if you added some to your kit. I know when the full coverage one came out, a lot of artists were like, this is going in my kit. Um, which makes sense because a little bit of that first foundation goes a long way. But these babies right here, I love this skin-like finish. Especially for like your soft glam looks. This is a move right here. This is it. Y'all, this lip gloss smells like Fruit Loops. <laughs> it smells like Fruit Loops and I love it. 
I love it. I love it. Let's just do a little bit more. All right, you guys. So this is the finished look. Y'all. I absolutely love this face. Again, I use the shade Benin for my overall foundation. I went in with the concealer number 12 to highlight in the foundation stick in Katsina to contour. Y'all, I'm gonna do a wear test and see how these last, I've got some errands to run some things to do, but for my initial impressions, I love it. Feels like I have nothing on my face. Now it's the cream, so I feel like it could definitely transfer. I didn't blot or anything. So, I mean, whenever you put something on your face, I always expect for that to be a possibility, so. I'll pay attention to that, but baby, just off the bat, I really, really like it. Benin looks like my skin, and Katsina was a real nice natural little contour just to chisel up the face a little bit. Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Y'all, if y'all like this video, don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, help your girl out. We're on the road to a thousand. Please subscribe to my channel. If you want to get notified whenever I post a video, just click that little bell. Click the little bell and select the option. Um, but yeah, I'll be back with the wear test. Hey y'all, so I'm back with a super quick check-in. This is just the wear test. It has been seven hours since I finished my face. Um, it's 9.30 at night. I'm tired. I'm ready to wash my face. <laughs> so, um, sorry it's not longer than seven hours. But, y'all, the biggest thing that I'm noticing off the bat is that this foundation did not settle into my smile lines. I smile a lot. I laugh a lot. I talk a lot. So, oftentimes as the day goes on, depending on what foundation I have on, sometimes it settles. I'm loving how this has not settled at all into my smile lines. I've got a natural, healthy looking glow going on. Again, your girl has dry skin. So this glowiness doesn't bother me at all. I'm sure if I blotted, that will go away. Um, I had a scarf on, nothing. I mean, I didn't have it too high, but it was freezing. Like it's below freezing outside. So sweat wasn't even a, a thought. <laughs> wasn't a possibility so I didn't sweat at all um but yeah nothing got on my nothing got on my scarf or anything but I mean I'm mindful so I thought because I remember I was talking about transferring so let me just see I got a piece of tissue right here so it's been seven hours I didn't set my whole face so I mean not horrible a little something I only set my highlighted out highlighted areas so that's really not bad I mean, it's there, but again, I put makeup on my face. So, I mean, I I love it when foundations don't transfer. Um, but this doesn't this doesn't claim to be transfer proof. So, I'm not going to expect it to do something that it's not claiming to do. But yeah, it definitely um I feel like my skin looks radiant. I feel like it look, I feel like it looks healthy. Um yeah, I'm completely satisfied. I cannot wait to wear these some more. See how they hold up, you know, in different atmospheres, weather, things of that nature. But yeah, this is what she's looking like seven hours later. Juvia's Place Foundation Sticks. Definitely get a thumbs up from me. Again, they have been out for a good little while now. But I still wanted to get this video out for you guys, for those of you who may not have gotten them or just wanted to know my thoughts, opinions, and, you know, what shades I am. So, hope this video was helpful. As always, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, bye. Be blessed.